Well, we were doing all right for a minute then, and the controller's broken now, so that'll have to be another project. Hi guys, in one of my radio control toy car videos, I was using this hand controller, which wasn't the right one for the car, but rather disastrously, it broke. So this is going to be a disassembly video, see if there's anything we can do to repair it. I could just glue that back on, but there's a little metal rod in there that seems to do something, but I can't work out what it does. So I'm going to take it apart and have a look inside. It's a fairly complicated looking transmitter, isn't it? Although the basics are the normal, that's just a metal spring that gives us our forwards and backwards. And then in there is the bit that turns to give us our left and right. Oh, and there's also a button there for the turbo and a button there for the voice. So this is the bit that's actually broken. So that, that metal piece that I thought did something special is just a strengthener. Huh. Yeah, that's what that is. No doubt to stop that breaking just there. So I'll glue that back together as best I can do. Well, we got it apart, so we got the circuit board there. That's the chip that does all the work, no doubt. Looks like I've got a crystal there to set the frequency. That's uh, something more than you see in a lot of the cheap ones. I wonder what that does. Oh, that's... Yeah, you can put connect straight through there. I don't know if that's for recharging the battery, if I have a rechargeable battery. I'm just guessing. No idea. But that's an input plug. On-off switch. And then we've got these extra button positions here. Right, I'll put it back together carefully because it was a good working controller. So I don't want to damage it at all. And when you start playing with these, the first thing that happens is all the wires fall off their solder points. I just realised I didn't actually explain how the steering bit worked, so we better take that apart as well. Right, there we are, that's the steering. So we've got two contacts there that you turn. And they make contact from that common point there to either there or there, which would be your left and right. Like that. that back together then. And then these are just simple little 
push buttons. So you've got a contact underneath and you've got a flexible metal plate on top that when you push it, it makes contact from there to there. And that one is the same. Transmitters back together. I'll be gentle with it because I don't really trust super glue fixes on plastic like that. Let's see how we get on. Yep, we seem to be okay. I'm sure this is designed for one hand use, but I can't do it with one hand. In fact, I actually hate this, and I've got an idea that I could take it all apart and replace it with normal push-button, left, right, up, down. But it'll do for now. <laughs>